Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 30th, I think, of the Leaco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Whenever this loads, let me know what you think about uh, this this video, this problem, uh, how, how's your week going, everything in between. Why is this taking so long to load? Uh, but yeah, just kind of waiting for stuff to load. Do I have too many things open? I don't think so. I mean, this is just... A website, right? Like, I don't know. Alright, there, um... We're running into technical difficulties, apparently. Uh, do I have things open? I don't have things open. I don't think that's me, but I don't know. Lead code is just... Well, maybe, whatever. But yeah. Okay, there we go. Even clicked on it twice. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a great, uh, you know, start of the week. Happy Monday, happy Tuesday, whenever you decide to watch this. Uh, um, today, today finally, uh, is one of my rest days for my exercises. Um, just did about two, three hours at the gym and mostly working on uh, rehab and just mobility work and cool down work and stretching and stuff like this. So a lot of, nothing that big except for just like getting some squats. Uh, my groin is still having some issues, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah. Um, well, hopefully today I'll, I'll get to rest that up a little bit better. And yeah, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 1653 minimum deletions to make string balanced. Okay, you're given a string S consisting of characters A and B. If you delete any number of characters in S to make S balanced, S is balanced if there are no pair of indices I, J such that I is less than J, da, 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 right? So, I mean, so this is essentially the same as... Uh, Wait, let me double check what this means. I is going to say I is B and... Yeah, okay. I mean, this balance is actually... I misread this for a second. For some reason, I was thinking of it in terms of, like, parentheses. But this, this definition of balance is kind of weird. It's just basically... Yeah, or of A on one side, or and then or B on the other side, right? And... Actually, to be, even, to be even more specific, it's all the A on the left side and all the B's on the right side. So the way to think about it, um, the, and I'm going to do a minor drawing thing, is just try to figure out how to brute force in general. Um, I mean, obviously you can't do really, really brute focus, brute force because that is n squared, and n in this case is 10 to the fifth, which I suspect because if n is um, small, then you can actually do an n square solution and That'll be fast, that'll be fine. So let me try and bring up the drawing thing. No, that's not the right button. Where is the drawing thing? Oh, there we go. All right, the idea here is that, okay, so let's say you have, um, I mean, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just drawing random stuff. And the brute force, the idea of this brute force is right, of course, which is that, okay, first you try, okay, let's say, Everything to the left of this is A and everything to the right is B. What will it cost, right? Uh, in this case, well, there's nothing to the left and B, that means that we have to get rid of all A's and it will cost, what's that, five A's, right? Uh, and then, of course, you try again uh, by moving this line here and, and you know, uh, everything to the left is A, everything to the right is B. There's one A to the left, so we don't have to do any changes. Or B to the right means instead of to remove four, so that's four, right? And then you know we keep on doing it for every um, every string, and I'm just kind of drawing in a different way to kind of hopefully make it as you know which is still visible by possible. So here one we have to make one change to the left to make it all A, and four changes on the right to make it all B. So this is actually five again, right? So basically that's generally the idea of brute force. Um, and of course, the, if you kind of do it naively, like I just kind of described it one to one, it will be n squared. The key thing to note about this particular problem and how we describe this thing, however, is that by, um, you know, uh, here for every line that we drew, whoops, eh, can I even draw? For every line that we draw, 
uh, where we have the left is going to be A's and the right is going to be B's. And then you have some sort of number of A's and number of B's. And then the idea here is going to be changing it so that when we shift from here to here, where we also draw this line, well, they're only minimal changes, right? So that allows us to do it. So we don't have to redo all the work. We can use the work that we did previously to build this idea, right? Because for example, um, going from this, this thing where we have to count the number of A's to this thing where we have to count the number of A's, well, that's easy, right? Because we only change one character. So we only have to look at this character, right? Because if here, the number of A's on the left side, if this is an A, then we don't change. If this is a B, then we do change, right? Where equivalently, if we look at the B's, um, it used to be on the left side. Well, and now we removed an A. So that means that we have one fewer A's to remove, right? So something like that. I mean, you could you could phrase that a little bit in different number of ways, but that's basically the idea. So let's kind of get started, right? And here, uh, maybe I'd say best is to go to infinity, right? Um, and maybe I could even just write it out. Um, so that, uh, that's the solution. I don't even think, I think, eh, okay, we can even actually make, we don't even need infinity. I, you can use infinity, it's fine, because uh, uh, I'm lazy. But yeah, uh, but we can also use n because we just remove everything, right? So that can can be the worst case. Uh, I think the, uh, the, um, the thing that we have to be careful about, right, is that um, if we kind of, actually, let me bring it, bring it back up a little bit. Uh, I think this is something that I make mistakes a couple of times, which is why I want to bring it back up, is that we, we're we looking at spaces in between characters. So that means that on an n character strings, uh, there are n plus one uh, dividers, right? Because you have to count. So there's n minus one in between the characters, and then you have two more at the absolute beginning and absolute end. So this is something that could be easily missed as an off by one if you're not careful. So yeah. Um, and you know, we don't even have to write it like this, right? Because then now we have, um, so, uh, trying to, so left A's is equal to zero because we have enough, we start at the very first point and then right, right B is equal to, um, well, we just count it, right? So count the number of B's. But, and actually, I mean, so this is the way that we're going to think about it, right? However, um, that, that th this is the number we're trying to keep, not the number we're trying to remove. So you can actually rewrite this a little bit as uh, left B is equal to S, uh, is equal to zero because there's no B's in the left side. And then right A is equal to S dot A, right? So you could... So it's the kind of like inverse of what we want, but that's because these are the things that we're trying to remove. It's not a big deal, honestly, but it's just something to think about. And here, uh, because this is the number we're trying to remove, then we can set best as you go to right A. So we don't even need this, right? Um, and this is before the first character, right? So then now we can do something like this. Um, and now we can say, okay, we're moving it from before the first character to between the first and the second character, or if there's no second character, just be after the first character, right? So then now, as the, the first character, which is S sub I, um, the, or the previous character that we just moved, that means that, okay, if this is equal to be a B, then now the left side has an additional B, right? So we add one, and else, else means that s sub i um s sub i is equal to an a that means that the right a um well we removed a, a right an a from the right side so yeah and then now we just update the best which is oops uh best uh, left of b which is the number of things that we remove we remove b's from the left side plus uh removing a's from the right side right and that's pretty much it that's pretty much the idea uh hopefully i didn't say something i forgot to implement it but that's you know, I don't know why my computer is going so slowly. Oh, I guess it's just not updating. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, actually, I guess that is the examples. So that's pretty much the idea. Hopefully, I don't, didn't make a silly mistake. I would say one more thing is that I made a big deal about it being n plus 1 uh, dividers, right? Um, the reason why 
uh, and this loop only loops n time, but the reason is because we st we we did the beginning math on before the zero. So this is actually the plus one. Um, is why we have it that way. Okay, so let's give it a YOLO submit. Uh, looks good. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the idea. I think this problem, um, like for whatever reason, I think this has been on, on lead code like three or four times, or maybe not that much, but say three times or something. I feel like I've seen maybe very close, very similar problem to this one um, before, you, even if it's not exactly the same. I don't remember they are exactly the same, but the solution is exactly the same. So definitely, you know, think about it. But I think the key thing to to know uh, to understand is just uh, one is this sweep line idea, right? I mean, it's kind of brute force in a way, and you're just trying to optimize so that you take advantage of work that you've already done so you don't do additional work. That's really the key idea about this optimization, if you want to call it that, or algorithm. Uh, that's all I have for today. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later, and take care. Bye-bye.